In this video, I'll be making a barrel out of a single 2x6. To start, I cut off a 6 foot section of the 2x6 to make the staves or outside pieces of the barrel. I cut the round over off of one of the edges and then ripped the board into two two and three eighth inch uh, wide pieces. Next, I cut each of my two boards into four 17 and 7 8 inch pieces. And now I'm ripping each of my pieces into 3 16th inch strips. I was able to get five out of each board, so I ended up with 40 of these pieces. Next I did some bent lamination and I glued the pieces back together in sets of two and bent them around a two inch block as they dried. And you can also see that I glued these up in batches to make things go faster. Now with all 20 of my pieces bent, I could cut the bevel and radius on each piece, and I did this using the table saw. I used a strip of MDF to keep the piece flat as I fed it through the table saw with the blade set at 18 degrees. And since the space between the blade and the fence is bigger at the top of the blade than it is at the bottom, you can see it cuts the radius as well as the bevel on each piece. Next I glued all the staves together and to hold each piece in place while the glue dried I used staples. And once the glue dried, I pulled out all the staples. Next, I did a rough sanding with 60 grit to get off all the extra glue and ease the edges of where each stave meets. I also glued some sandpaper to a flat surface and flattened the bottom and top of the barrel. Now I needed to make a rabbit on the inside of the top and bottom of the barrel, and since I didn't have a small enough rabbiting bit, I switched out the bearings of a flush trim bit to make an eighth inch rabbiting bit and used that on the barrel.
Next, to make the top and bottom of the barrel, I cut what was left of the 2x6 from before into two 12-inch pieces. I cut off one edge to get off the round over of each piece, and then ripped the boards into 16 half-inch strips. I glued those strips together to make two 12 by 12 panels. And then I used a card scraper on each panel to get off all the extra glue. I traced the top and bottom onto each panel and cut it out with a jigsaw. I glued in the bottom piece and for the top I drilled a finger hole near an edge and just left it unglued so I could use the inside for storage. But if you wanted to use this as a side table or stool or something, you could just as easily glue in that top piece too. And now I'm doing a final sanding up to 220 grit. Now to finish it, I used some walnut stain to darken it, and then put a coat of polyurethane over that to protect it. Lastly, to make the rings that wrap around the barrel, I painted some mule tape or flat rope black and just used some super glue to attach it to the barrel.
I was a little afraid that with the walls of the barrel being only about three-eighths of an inch thick, it would be too weak. But just to show you, this could be used as a stool or side table. It had no problem supporting my weight. But my family is probably just going to use this as an ottoman as well as just a place to store blankets in our living room.